Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Harry Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17.5, most likely the last big update to iOS 17 before we move on to the first beta of iOS 18, which now is less than a month away from its release, of course, on the first dev beta. So iOS 17.5 is coming out to the public most likely tomorrow, it might happen on the Tuesday as well, but I'm pretty sure it will happen tomorrow, and that's of course Monday, May 13th. So in this video, I will show you guys a few different things that I believe every iPhone user must do after they have updated their device to the new iOS 17.5. The first thing you want to do is make sure to check out the update section of your device. You have now updated to iOS 17.5. If you have updated to the public version of iOS 17.5 and you didn't go through any of the betas, you're maybe all set here. But if you have installed any of the betas previously, you can now go ahead and go to software update here and make sure you check your updates. First of all, under the beta updates, if you no longer want to get any of the betas that will be released in the future, you will be able to turn them off right here. Now, if you're thinking of updating to the first beta of iOS 18, then you must turn this off because of course, once iOS 18 beta one is released, you will get another option here. So you will have two different iOS versions. You will have the 17 dev beta and the 18 dev beta. So you need to move on to that. Otherwise, once you have updated, make sure that you also have your automatic updates enabled right here, especially this one right here, security responses and system files. These are updates that won't update the iOS version, but will fix important things on your iPhone. So you need to make sure that you have this turned on. And again, if you're not thinking of updating to any betas in the future, make sure you have this turned off. Now, one thing that usually happens when you update to a new iOS software is that there will be updates for your carrier. And to check that will be very simple. Head on to your settings, just go to general and then go to the about section. Just go there, stay there for like five to 10 seconds. And if there is an update for your carrier, you will see a pop up on the screen. You just tap update and it will happen in the background. Everything is automatic. It won't reboot your device or anything like that. You just tap update and you're good to go. You can get out of this. Now, when it comes to updates, it's really important that you update your apps as well. Most of the apps will be releasing updates once a new iOS software update is out, especially a bigger one like iOS 17.5. So, of course, these like popular apps, most of them that you see right here will have new updates. So they're more compatible with the new iOS release. So you always want to make sure that you have your apps up to date. After you have updated the device, make sure also update all of your apps. Now, if you don't want to bother with doing that, you can always go to your settings here and then go under App Store and right here will have automatic app updates. You can just go ahead and enable that button right there, which means that your apps will automatically be updated in the background without you having to actually worry about doing that manually. The next thing I suggest you do once you have updated your iOS device is that you go ahead and check the battery health of your iPhone. And this is why this is important, especially if you have an iPhone that has the battery health close to 80%. As you probably know by now, with your iPhone having the maximum capacity under 80% here, it means that your iPhone needs to have a replacement for the battery and of course it won't perform on its maximum capacity. So what you need to do and why I think you should check the battery health is that maybe your iPhone is let's say the 81 or 82 and once you update your iPhone you will see that it will actually drop under 80%. So you need to check and see if it has dropped or not. And of course, every time you update your iPhone, you will notice that it actually drops the battery health because every time you update your iPhone, iOS will check all of, all of its components. That's why it shows you the real battery health most of the time only when you update your device. So let's say you have it maybe for quite a few weeks now at 82 or 83. And once you have updated, it might drop under 80. So always make sure you check the maximum capacity of your battery every after iOS update. 
Another thing I suggest you do is go ahead and check the new wallpapers that Apple has added with 17.5 and they have a pretty cool animation. You can see right here, it actually changes every time I unlock my device. So you can see right there, we go to the lock screen, that animation, and right here on the standby mode, it looks pretty cool. So every time you unlock your device, you will see a different animation. You can see right here, how cool is that? You lock your device, you have another animation. Pretty cool, of course, you can find these on your lock screen simply by going to your collections. So you go down here and under pride, you will have all the new wallpapers that Apple has added with iOS 17.5. Another thing that I suggest you do is that you go ahead and back up your device. Now, this is a thing that should be done also before updating your iPhone because even though it, it is very unlikely, something can go wrong while updating your device. So if you didn't back up your device before updating to iOS 17.5, make sure that you do it now. Always make sure that you have a backup of your files and data because you never know when something can go wrong. Now, of course, you can do that through a computer or it can come to your profile at the top of your settings app. From there, go to your iCloud and then enable backup so it will back up to iCloud automatically every time you have, of course, new files and new stuff added to your iPhone. And last but not least, something that I suggest every user does more frequently, not just when they update their device, but if you just don't want to bother with that, maybe when updating your device, it is a good time to check your privacy settings. Now, I'm saying this because a lot of times there will be cases where you install maybe a new app and you get, you know, when you install a new app, you get a ton of pop-ups asking you for different permissions. It has different requests and sometimes you might allow something you don't want to do. For example, things like maybe your microphone. Check out which apps have actually access to your microphone. If you see an app that you don't want to have access to your microphone, you can just go ahead and disable it right here. Same thing will go for your Bluetooth, which is really important. Your local network, very important as well. You will have things like the camera, your health data, of course, the wallet, your media. You will have also here your files and folders and things like motion and fitness and everything else. So make sure you go ahead and check all your privacy settings right here and make sure you have them configured the right way. Also very important when it comes to tracking, you know that you will get pop-ups with every app asking you permission to actually allow these apps to track you. But of course, most of us will not allow that, but maybe sometimes by accident, you just click on the pop-up and allow that. Make sure you go ahead and check right here all the apps and see if there are any apps that are actually able to track you that you didn't mean to allow them. So. That's basically it for this video, guys. These are the things that I suggest every iPhone user must do after they have updated to the new iOS 17.5, which again will be released to the public most likely tomorrow. So that's pretty much it. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and you found it helpful. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more iOS 17.5 videos and I will see you guys on the next one.